So let's have a look at this paper here now. Um, so circulating vitamin D levels and mortality in prostate cancer patients. A dose response meta-analysis. So it's dose response because they found the higher the levels of vitamin D, the lower the mortality from people who already had prostate cancer. Now, this is not instead of prostate cancer treatments in established medicine. It should be as well as I would have thought in most cases. So really, I would have thought everyone with prostate cancer should have their vitamin D levels titrated up. It's a cheap, effective intervention. The most expensive part, of course, is the blood test and trying to get your doctors to do the blood test. The vitamin D itself is cheap and maybe that's its worst enemy. Big Pharma can't make any money out of it. So the large scale trials that they do on new medications that they can make lots of money out of aren't being done. That's why we're trying to publicise these benefits uh, on, on this channel, for example. Higher vitamin D levels could reduce the risk of death among prostate cancer patients. Now, the association of, uh, this is the circulating 25-hydroxy vitamin D levels. This is the activated sort of vitamin D in the blood, which is the one we normally level, me measure the levels of. With the prognosis of prostate cancer was what's being studied. They, consider, they conducted a dose-response meta-analysis looking at different studies. They included seven eligible cohort studies, adding up to 7,808 patients. So this is a pretty respectable number. Uh, so what did they find? The summary of hazard ratios of prostate cancer-specific mortality. What they found is for every 20 nanomoles, of, nanomoles a litre in circulating vitamin D, every time that went up, then the risk of death went down by 9%. Another, and, and by the way, that's very significant result. P equals 0 0.002. So that's only two chances in a thousand that this result arose by chance. Always important to look at the significance of the result, that this is just not a, a, a result, a spontaneous result by chance. That's very, very unlikely with this data. So hazard ratio of uh, 91, um, giving a protective value of uh, 9%. So you only... 91% uh, as likely to die if you have 20 more nanomoles of vitamin D than if you don't. It was all-cause mortality as well as prostate cancer-specific mortality. It gets even more interesting. So the people that had the high levels of vitamin D, for every 20 nanomoles per litre increase, they were 9% less likely to die altogether. So obviously if they had 40 um, 40 nanomoles per liter increase that would be 18 percent less likely to die which is pretty well pretty worth having that is for sure so the hazard ratio goes down that is the risk of dying goes down as the vitamin d level goes up as the vitamin d level increases so as we see at the higher levels that they checked out there which was about what about 110 now this is the, the these studies here are the higher level studies these these are the lower level studies so these kind of cancel out into these two lines. Now, the reason there's two lines there is there's two different mathematical ways of um, analysing this data. But you see, they're much the same. DoctorsToTrust.com Please share this video with loved ones.